Okay, here we're going to look at the area of convergence in determining the point of origin, which is very important when we're kind of analyzing a cast off blood splatter or blood splatter in general as far as where it may converge or where that point of origin may exist. So looking at the point of convergence examples, when we're looking at angle determination and determining where those kind of blood splatters may have occurred, it's very important to try to draw lines and try to determine where that convergence point actually may be. We see it here on the kind of cartoon representations as well as a larger kind of real world image here, where if you look at all these individual little drops, we see definitely a point of convergence located right here in the red circle. Now here's a five mil blood squirted from a syringe at a height of one meter. So the point here is trying to give you an idea of what those droplets may look like when you kind of zoom in and look at them on a close base and how important it's able, how important it is to be able to determine the direction and also potentially the angle of impact. Now that point of origin, as you mentioned, being able to calculate that angle of impact, remember it's the length and width are two important measurements you need to take, because it's the width divided by the length and you take the arc sign of that to get the angle. Reason why this is important is when you're trying to determine that origin point, knowing the angle of those different blood drops can help kind of trace back and determine the height above the point of convergence. So here we have the distance from the point of convergence and here we have the height. Being able to use this uh, angle of impact with a string method, able to kind of help determine that origin point, which can be very critical when trying to reconstruct a crime scene. Tracing origin of the blood spots. Well, we have the point of conversion method, which generates a 2D image, but then we also can take it a step further to point of origin method that adds a third dimension to it. The application in the field, of course, is to use it in a string and a protractor at the scene and to use a computer and laboratory to determine that point of origin, which will help tell the story of what occurred at the particular crime scene.